Hey there, welcome back to A Sexy Confident Life. I am so pumped to connect with you guys today in episode 61 because there is this thing called a reality check that a lot of us have to do every once in a while, right? And sometimes we want to escape our reality, and I get that, you know? It's not every day that we feel super jazzed and pumped about what we have to do or the things that are on our plate, but for the most part, I hope that you're enjoying your life. I hope that the reality that you're living in isn't a nightmare and that, yeah, it might have its ups and downs, but for the most part, you're happy with where you're at. But I know that having conversations with so many people lately, especially in the job world, in the career, career world, because I've been working with a lot of entrepreneurial spirits who they've been working the five to nine. I'm talking personal trainers that get up at 5 a.m. in the morning and work until 9 p.m. at night because they're working all sorts of hours during the day to accommodate client schedules. Or I've been talking to a lot of entrepreneurs that want to break out on their own and work for themselves because the job that they've been doing for years isn't providing them the fulfillment that they want, that they desire. And so, you know, career is one big thing where. I've been hearing it a lot that there's this unfulfillment, this unsatisfactory motivation to go into work every day, perform at your best, and feel really good at the end of the day. And that's a reality for a lot of people is that that isn't happening. Day after day, they feel like they're on a hamster wheel. I don't know about you. I don't know where you are in your career when it comes to the reality of your work or your job or your career path. But if you're not happy with that reality, there are things you can do about it. Can you escape that reality? Maybe, maybe not, right? And today I'm gonna to talk about two choices that you have in order to create a new reality. Because I also know that there's a lot of people that are really unhappy with the reality of their health. You know, it's like I talk to women every day that are uncomfortable with their body. They don't want to get naked in front of their husband. They don't feel good about themselves. They're disappointed in the, the fact that they've let themselves go and they feel lazy and unmotivated. They don't love who they are right now. And the reality is, is that their health isn't where they had dreamt it would be or where it would be at this point in their life. And they wish they could just escape that. And again, if you're in a reality of an unhealthy life that you want to escape from, I'm going to talk about two choices you have to create a new reality. And then there's also the reality of our, our friends, our family, our social life. Um, I, you know, I like to think about also the reality of our emotional well-being, right? That's how we feel inside. Sometimes we want to escape our own emotional feelings and, and um, mental imagery that, you know, keeps holding us in a situation of stress or anxiety or worry or fear because we just wish we could get those thoughts and those feelings out of our, our minds. We don't have to think about them all the time. So some people are trying to escape their own reality in their mind and in, in their heart. You know, they, they don't want to live in that space anymore, right? So I feel like when it comes to that personal and that emotional and that career and that health, I feel like it's important that we really tap into this idea of a reality check, right? Because so many uh, of our friends maybe, or our family members, even if it's not just, even if it's not you, are looking to escape where they're at and what their reality is. Or they've just been ignoring their reality and they've been going through the motions numb through life. How sad is that? I find that to be very sad. I find that to be unacceptable. 
right? And so I want to speak up about this. I want to talk about the realities of our life, where we're at, why we're there, but then talk about the choices that we can make to create a new reality. Because here's the thing, guys, we can't escape our reality, right? Don't think that for one moment, you can just hide away, suppress the emotions, um, numb yourself, right? So a lot of people are trying to just get distracted, numb themselves, suppress the emotions and the thoughts and the feelings. But guess what? Since your reality is in your thoughts, they're in your behaviors, they're in your actions, and since those live with you, you can't escape it, right? So it's with you. The only way to create a reality that you love and that you desire to live in each and every day is to start creating that for yourself. Because listen, everybody goes through the struggles and the, and the trials and tribulations of life. Nobody... I don't know anybody that's just had like this cakewalk of a freaking life where everything's just been peaches and cream forever. Usually it's like the kids that grew up with like the great family, and like the great upbringing. They have some kind of like struggle in college or early on in their adulthood. And, and that's their struggle journey, right? And then they figure that out. Or it's the opposite, you know, like my story, struggle and, 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 and all this anguish and anxiety and depression when I was young. And then I learned to get through that and, and, and it helped me really become the woman and, and design the life that I have now. And so now I, I live with a reality that I love versus a reality I didn't love back when I was a kid, right? So no matter what you've been through, you got to know everyone's been through something and you're no different than anyone else on this planet. But what will make you different in the long run is the reality that you decide to create for yourself. And you have that ability. In my Sexy Confident Woman formula, I talk about this almost on a daily basis because I'm teaching you. I'm, I'm, I'm presenting you the tools to create the reality that you want. I'm saying, let's design the lifestyle that you want. And today I want to share with you just two secrets, two choices actually, that I've read about, I've learned, and I've studied, and I've practiced and implemented in my own life in order to make changes and to not escape the realities of my life, but to create the realities that I want. Because again, we can't really escape anything. They always live with us, inside of us. We've got to alter things in order to create what we want. And those two choices are, one, we can change our attitude, or two, we can change our environment. Now, I learned this from Brendan Burchard in his Motivation Manifesto. Okay. And he talks about it as a way of, of sparking motivation and, and, and also, you know, sustaining the levels of motivation that we have in our life. But I think about it also in relevance to how we are designing the life that we want. I get super intense about this because I get so excited about the potential that these two choices and your ability to go out there and just get after it, I, I just geek out over what this can create for your life because I've done this. And the thing is, is with it, when it comes to attitude, if you're unhappy with your job, your career, your, uh, you know, your health, your emotional well-being, you have these two choices to make. And no matter what you say or think right now, I guarantee that you could improve the situation if you changed your attitude. That means working on it, because obviously your attitude don't just change overnight. <laughs> you don't just all of a sudden be like, I'm so happy with my job, even though I freaking hate it, <laughs> right? 
not not really no but it's 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 starting to work on that attitude adjustment towards the situation right towards how you feel about the situation towards how you'll act in the situation and that my friend is huge your attitude dictates your altitude right everybody has heard that quote before and it is no different when it comes to being unhappy and unfulfilled in a reality that you're living because you've got two choices and if you can't change your attitude because you're just like no you know what I'm never going to be able to enjoy or bring the joy in this situation. I'm never going to be able to change my attitude towards not being happy with my health because, you know, I, um, I just can't get over it. I can't get over how I've let myself go. Well, you know what? That's your choice, okay? If you're going to say, no, I, I just I can't accept this right? Maybe it's your job. I won't accept this. I can't bring the joy to this situation. I'm, I, I really can't live like this anymore. Well, then you go to number two and you change your environment, right? So changing your environment is like the alternative. It's like either change your freaking attitude about it, you know, and, and live into something more positive and enjoy the things about it that are good and stop bringing the negative into everything about it and, and start to look at things with a new perspective or change your environment. So many people say, no, I can't. I could never, I could never change jobs. I could never quit this. Or I... I can't get healthy because, you know, my, my husband eats unhealthy and I, I go out with friends. I'm just like, excuse, 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 excuse. Listen, everybody's got excuses, right? You know, you can tell me all the freaking excuses you want. At the end of the day, you know, deep down in your heart that if you changed your environment, based around the reality you are today, hanging out maybe with the wrong people, buying the right, the wrong foods in the grocery store, like change the place you shop, right? Buy healthier stuff for yourself. Hang around people that want to be healthy and fit. Get inspired by someone that does. There's always an ability to change your environment. Maybe you feel like you're stuck at that job forever, you know? You better change that attitude or your reality is going to be pretty miserable forever, right? Or just decide, how am I going to break free of this? What do I got to do? What are my alternatives? You know, what would I want to do with myself? Have you thought about that? Getting in an environment of positive, uplifting people that have the same desire. Maybe you're not ready to quit your job tomorrow. But are you working towards it? Are you surrounding yourself by people that are motivated in the same way to change careers? Have you joined a community or a group that is in that same mindset so they can hold you accountable and, and keep you feeling good throughout the process of transition? Like, listen, your environment and your attitude are everything about your reality, right? It's who we surround ourselves by. It's who we talk to. It's what we read. It's what we watch. It's, it's how we think. It's how we feel. It's how we see the world. So it is so important that we understand how much power, how much control that we have over our reality. Even when tragedy happens. And I don't want to take this lightly because I haven't had any massive tragedies in my life. And I don't know. I don't know what it's like to go through one. You know? And I know that one day I will have to go through one. I might have to go through one sooner than later. But tragedy is, you can't prevent it. You can't. Like, it happened. And that is horrible. But the only thing you can control is your reality moving forward. 
right? They always say that it's not really up to you what happens to you sometimes, but it is up to you how you respond and move forward. And I know that's easier said than done, you know, especially being someone who hasn't been through a tragic ordeal. But I've got friends I've spoken to about this that have gotten through such horrific tragedies. And the reason that they did is because they allowed themselves the time to heal and they changed their attitude and their environment to support what they needed to move forward. Right? So it's reaching out, it's getting the right resources, it's changing our mindset by fueling ourselves with things that will help us heal and grow. That includes therapy, that includes books, that includes personal growth, that includes high performance coaching, that includes taking care of your health, that includes reaching out to family and friends, that includes journaling, that includes meditation. There's so much you can do to overcome the things that happen to you. And then there's also so many ways to control what you want to create for your life, the type of fulfillment and joy that you want to have, right? The life and the body that you want to have. I know that sometimes people always say, Anna, oh, well, you know, you've always been fit, so your health is so easy. And I laugh, you know, because yes, I have always been fit. I've always been an athlete. I've always really cared about my physical health. You know, before I even went to college to become an exercise physiologist, I just really liked feeling good. I liked being strong. Um, I was very competitive. I liked knowing that I had control over my energy and my ability to be active. If I wanted to go freaking jump in a boat and row over to the other island or something, like I want to be able to be in control of what I want to do because I'm adventurous and I like that stuff. That's the reality of my life. You know, so I'm always trying to work towards the things that will give me the freedom to do what I want. And that even came when it, it, it was my career. I, I worked the jobs. I had multiple jobs. I didn't always love the job I had. but I knew that my attitude going in mattered to the enjoyment I would have. So when I was a bartender, you better believe I put on a happy face and I got pumped for that night and I did my best and I enjoyed time with clients and, and coworkers and I did my thing. It wasn't where I wanted to be, so I was always working on the other thing, school. And then when I got a career job, I had to work that five to nine trainer thing, right? I knew I didn't love it, but I brought my attitude to the table so that I could enjoy it as I was working towards my own business, my own freedom in career, right? And so it was always like I knew I had to bring those elements to the table to create the reality that I wanted, even if it wasn't going to be immediate. So I want you to know you can't change your reality overnight, <laughs> right? but you've got to work towards it. Otherwise, how can you be positive? How can you wake up every day and go to the five to nine or the nine to five if you don't have a plan to create a different reality for yourself in the next few years? But you got to bring your positive attitude to the situation because you got to have the energy to do other things and to be focused and positive, right? And to get the job done and to create the reality that you want got to surround yourself by the right environment. So I hope that this serves you well, because reflect today if you've been playing the victim, if you've been going through life on a hamster wheel, just waiting for something to happen, just hoping that change will appear in your life, just praying that someone else will free you from the stress, or the overwhelm, or the depression, or the anxiety. It's up to you. You've got two choices, right? 
And I want you to make a decision today that you will be dedicated, dedicated, my friend, to creating the reality that you've always wanted. Whether it's happening in a year, whether it's two years, whether it's five years, it took me a long, long time to get to a reality where I'm like, wow, this is, this is what I wanted. And now I have higher expectations for myself where I'm working towards more things that I want to create as a reality for my life. So it never ends, but to live with joy, to live with fulfillment, to live with positivity, to live with um, a sense of satisfaction so that every day doesn't feel like a chore, it doesn't feel like a drag, it doesn't feel like you're stuck, it doesn't feel like you're strangling your life away. I want you to breathe. I want you to feel the breeze. I want you to enjoy your life. Every day matters. You never know when it will be your last. So my friends, take it from me. Today, make and create the reality that you want by creating the attitude and the environment that you need to get it. I'll see you next time. Peace out.